All right, man, torch your talk. Torch your talk, torch your talk, torch your talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Look, man, today's episode, we're going to be talking about something Deleted said about Kendrick Lamar's interview. And I love Deleted channel, man. You know, um, I think what he said about Kendrick, um, I want to, you know, dive into that because we don't always agree. I want y'all to understand that. Not me and Deleted, I'm just saying. People, understand this. There's no yes men over here. We don't always agree. We can agree to disagree. That's what this channel is based on. We agree to disagree. If you don't like something I say, call me out on it. Tell me. I want to read it. And if I agree with you, I will say, you know what? You got that. You were right. And I came on here plenty of times and told y'all, y'all was right about certain things. But guess what? If y'all wrong about something, trust and believe I'm going to get on here and say it. So, but we're going to watch this video from Deleted. And uh, yeah, before I get into that, you know, I got to get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please subscribe me if you're new here. Let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies who want in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass my don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, link's on the screen. Cash app, PayPal is in the description. They called me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to almost 12,000. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank y'all very much. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. And look, man, let me know where you're from. So we're going to get into this clip. I ain't going to do too much talking. We all love to lead it over here. You know what I'm saying? So let's see what he got to say about this whole thing with Kendrick and how he feels about it. <laughs> all right, so let's go. It's not a contradiction. He contradicting himself again. Of course, that's a contradiction. The f*** you think life is. All right, y'all. You know I ain't biased here. I ain't gonna lie, I damn near needed some upliftment to even do this video. I'm tapped out. I'm exhausted. What well, when when the hell is Tyler coming out? I need something new. This will probably be the last take I have for this big three beef, if you even want to call it a beef. At this point, it's more like tofu. It seems that on Kendrick's side, I'm the only creator that's gonna say this. I've watched so many people's takes on this interview, and I'm actually the only person that seems to feel this way. So maybe I'm the problem. What did Kendrick say again on Father Time? Guess I'm not mature as I think. Guess I'm healing to do. Yeah, I guess that's me right now. It's good. I could be the only one that feels this way. Shit, I'm gonna stand on it. K-Dot's interview had all his hip-hop fans f***ed up. And I don't have time to argue with the meat writers that act like academics big chalupa with extra, extra sour cream gurgling ass, making excuses or rebuttals of how they agree or love the interview and I'm crazy. All the people that are gonna say, He doesn't need to have a different answer he can answer the way he wants to ask me if i can all right now there's a couple of different things that he said everybody's entitled to their opinion you know what i'm saying i think that the interview was fascinating and i do agree with what that with the lady he just pointed out i agree with that i agree that he didn't have to he didn't have to answer that he didn't have to answer it i agree so Let's keep it going, though. Because I don't. As a hip-hop fan, I hated it. As a stand-on-all-ten type of dude, I hated it even more. Was it brilliant to take control over the interview and not let anyone ask you tough, specific, uncomfortable questions? Hell yeah, that was brilliant. Am I for having your day one old label mate SZA interview you? But also a low-key statement, throwing a slight shade at Drake because he stated SZA got you wiped down. Yeah, ain't in no big three. SZA got you wiped down. Around the time he had an anthem with her and Sexy Red. So this interview screams loudly of whose side she's on, especially knowing Drake is definitely sad and bothered by this because he's always uptight about his old flings where he made a living off of making songs about them. It's also coming full circle to the initial diss on the BET Cypher in which Kendrick disses Drake, calling him sensitive on how he took the control verse earlier that year. I'm about to crack the Da Vinci code. Yeah, and nothing been the same since they dropped control and tucked the sense of the rapper back in his pajama clothes. With a younger scissor bobbing her head in the background. Yeah, ha ha. Joke's on you. High five. I'm bulletproof, nigga. 
down. All that was perfect. It was a chef's kiss. And I get why hip hop media could feel a way. Kendrick went to Harper Bazaar magazine that has nothing to do with the culture. But I don't blame Kendrick since most of the big hip hop media outlets are Drake guzzlers and they played on Dot's name, gaining full control of how you're perceived without misconstruing your words. That was all calculated and strategic and just dope as fuck. But with all that being said, I feel that the interview shouldn't have happened if he was going to make a hypocritical and contradicting statement specifically about the song Not Like Us. This video will focus solely on that particular segment of the interview. While other creators have highlighted the positive aspects, such as Kendrick's reflections on his personal growth, I'll be addressing the specific issue that's currently gaining significant attention on social media. And I know y'all gonna hate me for this video. It's good. Villain type shit. Gotham City. It is what it is. My thing is like, we should be able to, and, and shout out to Deleted, we should be able to give our takes on certain things and not feel like we're being attacked by the fans or being attacked by a listener. I'm glad that everybody over here on this channel, we know that this channel is about agreeing to disagree and we do agree to disagree or we agree. I'm, I'm glad that that's, that happens over here. So but I understand where he's coming from because sometimes you do need to preference things or say things for people to understand because you don't want to see you don't want to make it seem like you can't criticize somebody off of something. So I respect it. I respect it. But even though I might not agree with it, I respect what he's doing. But one thing is for sure, this just made me appreciate the greats even more. Tupac and Biggie, Hova and Nas, 50 Cent and M versus Ja Rule, Eminem versus ICP, Jay-Z versus Dipset, Lil Wayne versus The Eclipse. I appreciate real hip hop, real rap, the battles, the war wounds, the scars, the competition. I'm a hip hop head, a natural competitor. I see blood when it's wartime. I play to win. And in my fantasy of a world being a content creator, Creator. To battle against the Drake Gurglers fan base such as academics, I put myself on Kendrick's team by default. Even though he could care less and don't know I exist, no one asked me to do this. That's on me. It's annoying as fuck though that I have to unfortunately be the guy that's unbiased. Also the guy who can take a step back and look at the entire picture regardless of how I feel. I hate that I have to admit that Drake's bitch ass had the old school rap spirit in him. Seen blood, war and stood on everything he felt and said. Again, I'm not biased. Even if I don't like Drake for how he moves in the industry or the things he's done to the industry and hip hop in general or approving the prejudice takes like what's the dirt who says racially biased stereotypical comments like Kendrick being the messiah of rap and a milkman or especially when Drake mocked slavery and thought the shit was funny. Who would have thought this would be the motherfucker who would be the only one out of the three to stand on what he's behind and give the fight spirit of not backing down by any means and not contradicting or being a hypocrite during the entire battle and we're okay so i disagree with that i i totally disagree with that i i, I don't see how you can say that drake is the only one that stood 10 toes down in a battle how is that how was that how are you saying that drake had the old school spirit of battle and Kendrick didn't. Because you said he was the only one out of the out of the three. So you're saying he the only one out of the three that had the spirit of battling. And Kendrick didn't. Kendrick was he was the one that set it off. Or you, 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 you can say, if you're saying that not a uh, uh, first person shooter, but Kendrick was the one. Then Drake came. Then Kendrick came. Then Drake, then no, then then Kendrick came again. Then, then Drake came, then Kendrick came again. Then Drake came. How is it that, I don't understand your, your logic behind that. I don't, I don't understand your logic behind that. You saying that Kendrick basically wasn't standing 10 toes down when it came to uh, old school battling, but Drake was? How does that make sense? Maybe you're going to explain. Let's see. We're talking about strictly rap, the lyrics. Th this is what we're talking about here. We're talking about straight up beef battle mode. J. Cole folded. Kendrick's contradicting himself. Drake has remained Drake in this beef. Now, that could be a good thing. Wait a minute, bro. <laughs> if we're talking about battling, right? And, and, and I kind of know what you're going to say. 
But you can't really use that against Kendrick because if you're talking about him being a moral man, right? Because I I, I, I kind of know that that's what you're about to say. Kendrick literally warned Drake. He warned Drake. So there's a time where you have to show people tough love or uh, give them an ass whooping to respect you. Doesn't mean that you have to uh, be a bad person. Some people need to be shown something. They need to be shown. You can't say that throughout the whole beef, even though Drake was mudslinging, Kendrick shouldn't have did that because that's contradicting himself. I don't get it, but let's see what he said. Back thing, I guess. I mean, if you want to be morally correct, right? Maybe that shows that Drake has no growth as a person. I mean, we all know that he acts like a man child, but at the same time, this is hip hop. And if I have to compare Drake to previous hip hop, legendary hip hop beefs, He's moving like a hip hop artist. I hate that I have to actually give this dude props when it comes to hip hop and battle rap because I would. How do you even come to that conclusion? How? How you come to that conclusion that he's moving like a hip hop artist? How? Push ups, Taylor made. He did. He did what he did on Taylor made, and then he did what he did. On uh on uh meet on or not like uh, um family matters and then he did the hard part six. Kendrick like that. Euphoria, six one six in L A. Meet the Grams, <laughs> and uh meet the Grams and not like us. How do you say that he's moving like a hip hop artist but Kendrick's not? I don't know. Maybe you have an explanation for it because. That's a wild take. Like it to be about the nigga I'm siding with. Unlike you Drake fans, I know when it's time to say we took an L, and this is the time. And unlike you Meat Rod and J. Cole and even KDOT fans, I know when to say I can't stand by something. And I'm not asking for him to incriminate himself as a gang member. I'm not asking him to name drop Drake either. But to say not like us is about his morals as a man is bizarre. No pun intended. During his interview with SZA, she would ask, can I ask you a hyper-masculine question? You can also tell me to shut the fuck up. What does not like us mean to you? Kendrick will respond laughing, not like us. Not like us is the energy of who I am, the type of man I represent. Now, if you identify with that man that I represent, SZA would intervene, break the man down for me. Kendrick Lamar would say, this man has morals. He has values. He believes in something. He stands on something. He's not pandering. He's a man who can recognize his mistakes and not be afraid to share the mistakes and can dig deep down into fear-based ideologies or experiences to be able to express them without feeling like he's less of a man. If I'm thinking of not like us, I'm thinking of me and whoever identifies with that. Scissor then asks, now can I say something else in that realm or you want me to get away from that? Can I ask you something? else. Kendrick Lamar asks, is it me? SZA says, no, it's more like, I thought it was really interesting that there was any consensus at all that you might be an angry individual. For me, I don't find that any energy that comes from you comes from an angry place. And actually, the last hour and change pretty much solidifies that it's almost from a yogic, monk-like place. So when you feel the surge of energy in records like that, is it anger? Kendrick Lamar would then respond, I don't believe in an angry person, but I do believe in love and war, and I believe they both need to exist. And my awareness of that allows me to react to things, but not identify with them as who I am. Just allowing them to exist and allowing them to flow through me. That's what I believe. Basically, Kendrick's saying he won't let a battle change his morals or him as a person and what he stands for. Scissor then responds, That's not basically what he's saying. That's not basically what he's saying. I think I think you read that wrong. That's not basically what he's saying. The way I take it, when he say the energy of him not like us, when he says, when he sits there and he says that uh 
love and love and war has to exist. He separates that from himself. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that the part you're saying that he's saying it like that. I'm saying when he says the, the love and war part, it explains what happened between him and Drake to me. He started out with saying we could keep this a friendly fade. You should keep it that way. He basically started out like that because he didn't want to turn on the war part. Friendly. Friendly is implying love and, and all that, right? That's what I'm saying. So when you say that he, he, he basically said that, I don't agree with that. I think it's much more deeper than just a surface level thing that you just said. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead before I say something crazy. Man, he should have said it means what it says, not like us, and kept it pushing. That's just... You see what I mean? And this goes back to what I said on the other video. You literally just said earlier that people shouldn't say what he should have had said. He's not you saying, I don't care if they, you're saying, oh, this not all the people. He said what he said. You just told him what he should have said. So you are one of the same people that you're pointing at. You just said that. You just said that a few minutes ago in the, in the part of this video. You literally just said that you were not talking about the people that the group with the woman and say, oh, nah, 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 nah. oh, oh, he should be able to say what he wanted. He can answer it the way he want to answer it. And you just sit there and did the same exact thing by saying he should have said this. There's no difference. Though. He should have just said that. He should have said it means not like us. He doesn't need to explain. He doesn't need to go into detail. Fuck all that other shit. It means not like us. That's the statement right there. It means not like us. Don't discredit the song. Don't fuck up the impact. Just say it's not like us. I mean, he didn't necessarily say anything wrong. It was a very humble response. It's very clear he's taking a jab at Cole and Drake using the word pandering, which basically is J. Cole. I mean, I guess it could be Drake too, but mostly J. Cole. And pretty much also coming for Drake, just overall coming for Drake. Discrediting Drake for not being a man of morals, which he's not. We all know that. Drake's a whole bitch and doesn't act like a grown man. He acts like a 15-year-old lesbian. And I'm not saying 15-year-old lesbians don't have morals. I'm not saying that. I'm saying like, you know, usually when you're young, you don't really move like that morally correct. But also, I just say he looks like a 15-year-old lesbian because he does. However, he wasn't being morally correct when he said fuck the big three is just big me or when he dropped meet the grams bringing people's family involved talking to this man's son becoming his new daddy by giving him fatherly advice in a sense being a better father than drake although he didn't start the low blows he sure and he'll finish them okay so again you can't say that he wasn't being so basically what you're doing is you using him you using Kendrick by saying that because he took he took the turn with Drake which Drake pulled it out of him or Drake put it uh, you know made him uh you know say these things you're basically saying that he can't he shouldn't have had, he shouldn't have had took that turn he could have went a different way when when it comes to battling and I want y'all to understand something. When it comes to battling, you can't really be moral. You can't be. If you want to say that Kendrick Lamar is not being a moral man because he did these things, I, I take it right back to all fear and love and war. The first phrase he said was love and war. They both have to coexist. You can't say that he's not being a moral man because he's defending his family. You know what I'm saying? You could try to dance around it and say, well, this, this is what makes him not moral. And you try to, you know, put that out there. Maybe it may stick for some people. It may not. But for me, it's justified. So even if you say that he's not being a moral man, he's contradicting himself, he didn't have to go that path. He was forced to go that path. He was forced to go that path. But in his head, you can still be a moral man and still 
burn shit down. That's how it goes. You can still be a moral man. That's how it goes, man. I know a lot of y'all might disagree with that. But you can still be a moral man. And I think that that's what he's, what he's basically saying. So you're telling me that people who defend their families are not moral? If somebody says something about your family, it doesn't make you a moral man because you say some egregious things about them and get them out of here and you eliminate the target? They're not moral now. That's immoral. That's the thing that I say about a lot of people. Y'all put all of this ownership on Kendrick as if he has to be perfect. The man literally said it in the beginning of your video. He contradicts himself too. He, he's not perfect. He's been saying this. This is why he's one of, this is why he is the greatest because he puts it out there. And I think a lot of y'all, y'all try to dance around it to try to, I don't know. And I don't think that he's doing that. I don't think that, uh, the leader is actually doing it. I don't think he's really doing that. I just think that he sees something he disagrees with and he's calling it out. So let's keep it going. He especially wasn't morally correct when he dropped Not Like Us. This wasn't about morals at all. He was being just as petty as Drake and he showed up as the boogeyman. He wanted the crown, so he pressed them niggas. And he should have. This is rap and they were playing in his face. So we called them out. Not Like Us, a man of morals. Morally correct, what does this mean? Morally correct means something is in accordance with moral principles and is considered morally good. It involves being able to distinguish between right and wrong and acting in a way that is guided by values he didn't act okay so all right let me let you i'm gonna let him answer that and then i'm gonna break down what that actually means because i want to see what he say and then i'm going i'm gonna, I'm gonna see what he said and i'm gonna say what uh i gotta say so let's go. And it's considered morally good. It involves being able to distinguish between right and wrong and acting in a way that is guided by values. He didn't act that way when he set it off with the like that. But, but, but wait a minute. Hold up now. The song is about being a moral man because look at what it says. Look at what it says here. Between right and wrong. The song is about Drake or whatever you want to call it, doing stuff with younger ladies. That's wrong. Kendrick, the song is also about him being a colonizer. That's wrong. It's about right and wrong. So your definition, you're reading the end of the definition, but you're not reading into the whole definition because the whole definition says you basically have to determine the difference between right and wrong. You would say that Not Like Us is a position. The song is literally called Not Like Us, which means if you're not like me, you're wrong. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. If you're not like me, you're wrong. How is that? How are you saying that that doesn't apply to that song? Because this is what he was saying. I'm a moral person. This is the, the, the definition. You just pulled it up able to distinguish between right and wrong and acting in a way that is guided by values. He didn't act that way when he set it off with the like that verse and continued through not like us. We know not like us then from Drake's slave comment though and he rebuttaled by saying Drake's a white boy. We also know it stemmed from Drake questioning Kendrick's affiliation with gangs in Compton in which Kendrick did a loud flamed up response at a Ken and Friends concert. It also stemmed from Drake using Tupac and Snoop's voice in an AI diss track towards Kendrick. And let's not forget about Kendrick stating, What I learned is Knicks don't like the West Coast and I'm fine with it. I'll push the line with it. Basically stating that Drake and the rest of the world can't relate to the West Coast. People don't show the West Coast love and a lot of the West Coast music is slept on because damn near everyone was calling Kendrick's songs boring and not relatable except for Kendrick's core fans. And of course, shining the light on Drake's PDF allegations is not like a song was a statement and answer to all of that but 
But when SZA asked Kendrick what it meant, his response ultimately made him sound like another contradicting rapper. This could ultimately diminish the impact of the song if he's not supporting the message it was originally meant to convey. And this, this may not be that deep to the listeners out there listening right now. Yeah, you, it might, you might not care about all of that. Like, man, it's just an interview, right? Because it seems like most of the fans support it. You may feel that he displayed a class act persona, but it's way deeper than that. For me and my peers that have an audience who have been in our own battle, our own war through the Civil War, Kendrick basically made every hip hop blogger, commentator, radio host, anyone that sided with him and went at the Drake gobblers like academics or Maul or Aiden and their huge ass fan bases that all openly attack KDOT's spinning narratives that we, that myself, we all challenged. He made our words weightless by contradicting himself and by being a hypocrite. So like every video I had done to this point, he still, you still haven't really fleshed out how he's a hypocrite. Like maybe you're going to explain that, but you really didn't flush it out. You basically just said that you kind of disagree with something, but you never really flushed out how he's a hypocrite. How? How is it you? You literally said he should have said this. And then you criticize people for saying that they that he meant this. <laughs> like, I don't understand that. I, I'm just trying to figure out what do you mean by that? You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand that we all got to be different. I understand that sometimes we take it. I don't think that this interview was made it feel like my words was weightless. I know exactly what he was saying. And in and, and, and what he said, it's, it's exactly what it means, not like us. If you're not a moral person, you're not like us. That's basically what he's saying. And you're trying to say that he's not a moral person because he called, he said, fuck the big three, this big me. So that wasn't, that wasn't moral. Even though J. Cole said what he said. I really think that a lot of y'all, and let me let him finish, and then I'm, I'm, I'm going to continue. Let me let him finish. He made my own words contradicting. I mean, y'all was all there. They were going in on Kendrick when they were saying he was a contradiction because of the abuse allegations towards Whitney, because he cheated on Whitney with a white woman, or because he wiped a biracial woman to begin with, when they also called him a contradiction because he's doing the halftime show, but once stated he was for Kaepernick and against the NFL. And even though all those are not true whatsoever, and I don't agree with any of those takes, he did did, however, contradict himself by answering a question that we all already know the real answer to. People see and hear and read things very surface level. Now, to the Kendrick fans that are going to be against this video, you could say that about me. Oh, you're looking at it surface level. It's deeper than that. Now, nah, I'm looking at it in all four corners of a square because Drake fans and the rest of the world, they are usually surface level thinkers. These are the same people that would argue with me in the comments when I was breaking down on Kendrick's lyrics. I know how they think. This basically made all their assumptions hold more weight in their peon brains. Everything they've been feeling, that Kendrick is a walking contradiction, and how they may feel like they've always been right this entire time, by discrediting the whole entire beef to begin with. I don't want to hear about agendas either, man. This ain't no agenda. This isn't an agenda. Nah, this is a hip-hop fan who just wants rap, bro. Lyrical warfare, nothing serious. It wasn't even that serious until academics and Drake's bitch ass started pushing the narrative of calling OVO goons and Drake calling out Kendrick's affiliation. It was always a friendly fade. Kendrick didn't take personal shots until Drake did. But with all that being said, everything up until this point represented true hip hop. I say up until this point because his response undermines the impact and statement of Not Like Us, which ultimately crowned Kendrick as the victor. Sure, if we break down his response, it can somewhat align with the overall meaning of not like us, but only Kendrick fans are doing that. So again, to bro, again, you can't dance around it. What he said, it aligns to what it is, bro. You just admitted that. You could say, well, it only, it only aligns to what Kendrick fans align to. Well, he doesn't have to align with anybody else. He don't have to align with anybody. He just basically said what he said, and that's it. I don't get it, but 
yeah, that's actually the end of the video. So make sure y'all go subscribe to Delete It, man. Yeah, that was a fascinating video, man. I don't agree with everything he said, but he made some good points, but I don't agree with everything he said. But yeah, man, I just think that I just think that people read too much into Kendrick and, st and, and everything he does. I think y'all hold him at such a high standard and it's nothing wrong with holding him at a high standard. But you can't you can't use what he say against him and then don't use what, what all the other rappers say against them. It's like. If the man said that that's what it means, that's what it means. If you disagree with it, you disagree with it. But don't sit here and act as if like, well, he's really contradicting himself. How? You know what I'm saying? I don't get it. But either way, man, make sure y'all post comments. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all, man. Thank y'all for being with me. Six o'clock show is coming up. See y'all. Have a good day. Peace. Bye. <laughs>